Is it all over for Luna and UST? Welcome back guys, it's Crypto Rocco from Rockstar Trading Channel. In today's video guys, I'll share with you everything that you need to know about the huge Luna dump, the UST DPEG, what kickstarted everything. I'll explain to you the whole story. And more importantly guys, I'll share with you my price prediction and my thoughts on Luna going forward. I've been shilling Luna since $5. That's when we first got in. It was an absolute parabolic ride. I, I usually don't get involved with the fundamentals but you know i talked about luna i made like d5 videos so it's really important update guys and make sure you watch the video till the end video till the end get a cup of coffee it's been one of the craziest couple of days you know i've been involved in cryptocurrency for over five six years now since early 2017 it's been you know i've not seen a market like this this is absolutely ridiculous but we've seen huge you know scams or dumps for like smaller projects but something that big luna and you know the amount of btc they held is absolutely crazy it's having a huge impact on the whole cryptocurrency market um and i think it, i'm in a good position to talk about this because a lot of the luna fans are just quiet you know i've talked about the negatives and the positives hopefully you've not been burnt as much and at the end of the video i'll just talk about psychology as well because you know this is huge it impacts people's life and um, hopefully you always manage risk you know have some plans this is the every Every video every month I make a you know, strategy video where I talk about risk management you know um, having stop losses in place and when when to exit when not to exit I've taken some losses as well we all did uh, anyone involved in investing in Luna has been difficult but it's really important to have plans in place I'll talk about that at the end and just try to give you guys some kind advice for longer term as well because it's not over guys you know this is you know it's happened before it's gonna happen again learn from it there's gonna be another Luna there's gonna be another coin that pumps 10x I've seen it since 2017 there's always another coin you know don't be too you know disheartened don't be too down don't beat yourself up go on a little walk or you know enjoy yourself and then come back to the markets because i'm sure you'll get back if you lost money if you've been hurt don't beat yourself up learn from it and i'm sure you'll get those crazy 10x and i'll, I'll try and help as well um to help you guys achieve that so guys uh, without further ado let's get into the video so first of all uh, let's actually quickly talk about what luna is so luna is a digital coin and it helped with the, the the way that luna usd work is usd is a stable coin and the way luna usd work it was usd was pegged to a dollar and you had to mint luna so you had to burn luna to get, get usd so in short time you know that's sort of how it worked um they actually talk about it in a bit more detail so i'll, I'll read this out to you uh, instead of the usd being backed one-to-one uh, -one with tangible assets like a, a bank or a, a custodian usd uses a complicated setup with another token luna to try to maintain its peg luna is the native token of the luna blockchain decentralized platform like ethereum so it should be terra blockchain but again i think this article is not written by a crypto expert there are various types of applications decentralized finance programs so if you guys have been watching our channel anchor protocol used to give 20 percent um, and, and and another point is guys i'll share with you exactly how i've been trading it as well so i'll talk about my positions i, I got stopped out i put put my stop losses in i also posted some negatives and you'll see this you know when i talk about bullish there's lots of likes but when i posted this about three four days ago there wasn't many likes so i'll talk about exactly Exactly my positions might be slightly longer video I'll try to maybe timestamp it um, I, I have been waiting to write a thread on this I've gathered information but it was taking too long and I've had lots of messages so I really wanted to just get this video out also guys I'm planning on doing a live stream tomorrow usually our live stream is on a Sunday if you want me to do a live stream guys hit that like button and let me know in the comment section below I'll move my Sunday live stream to tomorrow uh, around 5 6 p.m. UK time just comment below live stream or hit that like button and i'll get a live stream up you can talk about this if you've been really bent by this or hurt by this i can give you some advice and uh, let me know in the comment section below and, and subscribe to the channel so hopefully uh, we can do a live stream and i'll try and help you guys out so luna is a native token similar to ethereum it's got lots of uh, decentralized finance programs it's got nfts every ust is supposed to be redeemable for one dollar worth of luna currently priced at thirty dollars so, you know you all, all know how high the luna went of course the prices fluctuates like it does in the fiat ball the exchange rate for the dollar against currencies change in usd as well luna is supposed to be stabilizing mechanism and it worked really well whenever i've arbitraged as well so whenever usd fell below there's arbitrage opportunity to buy usd for not nine eight and you trade it for one dollar you make some money so it, when usd starts dropping people do this and make 
make money so it doesn't let usd drop too much and the opposite when you know the usd is higher they sell it to get more lunas and they they make money that way so this is how the peg system work and this was slightly similar to titan on iron but i think luna tried to go a bit different they had an amazing marketing team and whatever we i'll, I'll talk about what duquan's update is for the future for the terror community but you know whatever you talk up say about this guy this guy is another you know marketing genius he's branding the way he said stuff it, it, they actually copied a lot of stuff from a project i really like called snx if you guys have been following me you know that is a oh, not a 10x coin but we made quite a, a lot of money that was again i'd say that was quite revolutionary the snx the synthetics that snx created so Luna kind of copied from it, but SNX didn't make much money or not make much money, but their market cap didn't grow as much because their marketing and, and their branding is nowhere near good as Luna and Duquan. So you've got to give it to him. This is this guy's an absolute marketing genius. So again, the, the, what they tried to do is, and, and this is when I started to get a little bit worried because what they did was they tried to back Luna because they knew that there could be a run on the bank. We saw with Titan, you know, drop to zero, the first uh, large scale crypto bank run. And I'll go into a detail how bank run works basically they just start dumping usd share fud and people start try people start taking their usd out and um, we saw it in anchor protocol I'll, I'll bring the anchor protocol reserves up and i had my money in anchor protocol i think it was only a few days ago where i talked about you know taking taking a money out and i still um lost money on mirror protocol anchor protocol was fine i was able to get my money out but um on um you can see the total deposits absolutely got slaughtered um so to stop this bank run from happening, which is what happened anyway, Luna bought over three billion worth of Bitcoin. And this is when I started to question a little bit. I still hadn't taken my money out. I did make a video. You can go watch that one when you know Luna bought uh, lots of lots of Bitcoin. And uh, the, 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 my questioning was if if they are so confident on an algorithmic stablecoin, why are they buying Bitcoin? So they obviously had some concerns about the USC. So that that worried me a bit. And what happened was USD started to deviate from one dollar macro and there was uncertainty. You know, there was like obviously what happening in the USA, the stock market dumping, the bearish and all these negative th stuff happens when um, you know, there's macroeconomic issues as well. So Bitcoin is 50 percent down, stock market is dumping, there's, you know, uh, inflation issues. There's lots of other stuff that's happening as well. So there were allegations that an unknown actor was trying to flood the market with UST to attack the protocol. And one pseudonymous actor even took out a very public 10 million short position against the asset. So what happens is, guys, people get scared. People see that it's not working and then they start to take their money out. So if we look at the FUD, um, someone else posted this in the group. So there's rumors that Cit Citadel did it. I'm not sure uh, who did it or not. I mean, again, it's allegedly. But you can see what they did. They borrowed it. They traded it for UST. Opens a short position and start dumping huge amounts and make it lose its peg. And what happens when it loses its peg? More and more people get worried. And this is exactly what happens if you go and go and look at the UST chart. More and more people get worried. Look at how low it went. Ridiculous. But that's what exactly what happens. So more and more people started getting worried. And uh, for me, now when I saw it done, oh, that that shouldn't happen. And I exited myself. So lots of people see this and they start exiting and get worried. And it's like a opposite of a FOMO. So when the price goes up in Bitcoin, people want to keep buying and buying, and it keeps going up. This is the opposite of you know buying, and it kept going down and down. Um, and that's what it started happening over 5 billion worth of UST was drained out of Anchor Protocol and uh, Terra, Luna, Anchor Protocol was their, um, you know, the engine, the main marketing, whatever you want to call this. This was the heart of Terra, Luna. This is why Luna was so popular. They had most of it locked up in Anchor Protocol trying to get those 20%. Even I made money and I talked about this, guys. I made money from trading and it's great, but I've made way more money being involved with uh, with Luna. If you think about it, since $5 went up to $100 and the 20% APY mass protocol, I was getting up, um, not Mars, Mirror Approach Cloud was getting money and it was it was it was just absolutely crazy and you know Ponzinomics at his best. I talked about this even Luna whether I like it so much. You know, people called me a Luna Schiller. I still called it a Ponzinomics because you know anything you could call anything is a Ponzinomics. You could call the stock market a Ponzinomics because it's US markets printing money. So always important getting in and out quickly. And I'll go back to watch this video guys. I made I make the same video every year. I talk about just buying some Bitcoin. I talk about being a lot in altcoin than Bitcoin. So it, the other way around like being 80 90 percent in bitcoin and recently i've been increased some more exposure but usually i'm still more in uh, bitcoin i recommend you go watch this video again it will take a bit of time half an hour but this video will save you these heartbreaks you know if, as long as you protect your wealth I'm, i don't want to get into a technical analysis again but i'll just quickly remind you guys as long as you protect your wealth uh, and 
you save money or at least not go bankrupt when there's a dip and you know that's what i try and teach in the rockstar trading group like protect your wealth and when we do get those crazy moves that's when you make money if someone's telling you you can be a millionaire uh, uh, trading this range they're lying to you. you make money when the market's up i could say join my rockstar trading group you make a lot of money and you, you, you will in and out we know we've traded the tron trade i've shared actually luna short trade recently i'll share that with you quickly uh, this was the luna short trade from the live stream that i did in the rockstar trading group this was our short setup you can see it's in the youtube live stream and then and then it hit target i'll, I'll review all the trade how we've taken it the longs and shorts um, and i wasn't short from hundred dollars and i'll be completely honest with that um but yeah we have taken some shorts in luna just to quit in and now i'm not saying short it now because it's and it's already done like 99 percent and from trading strategy it'd be wrong but yeah just to round up the technical analysis point of it's really important to have a plan you make life-changing money in this type of moves all you want to do is protect your capital have a strategy so when the market does go parabolic this is when you make life-changing money so if you, are, if you are interested in the rockstar trading group of taking your trading to the next level learn these strategies with us join our community i'll leave the links below for you to check out there's uh, lots of people you know some people are buying luna at one dollar got like 3x and all that cool stuff if you're interested in that i'll leave the links below for you to check out so coming back to luna and then again it was just a negative death spiral we talk about and everything was just going wrong and wrong uh, more and more fud were coming out and uh, one of the biggest things which not many people were talking about was the amount of uh, luna that's been printed and and this is what i'll touch on so this was my 8th of may post uh, where i talked about you know i want to see um th this if you see not showing fud i've been posting luna burn since five dollars and shilling it more than anyone but short term is bearish because long term we want to see the burn coming up so i said i was looked to buy here and as long as the burning resumes and we can see the increase in luna minting and previously every day luna was burnt and i kept saying it you know every day you know luna's being burnt i'm buying and we saw the opposite same with you know if you remember peg axis it's all about demand and supply that's what it all comes down to and at the moment huge amounts of luna is being printed just look at that how much you was being printed previously so being burnt the, and you can't even see it next to the amount that's being minted today and potentially billions and billions could be printed and if you read duquan's latest post and that's that was like the last hope if he came up with a miraculous solution which i didn't think there was uh, that would have helped but you know i think that's good that's what's gonna happen i'll come back and share my prediction what i expect luna to happen going forward so you know that so that wasn't enough um you know there was a reputational damage and you know the reputational damage is impossible to overcome because when people start fearing that their money could be um sort of not work or you know money could go to zero they get they get that fear and that's when you you know start seeing the huge moves down and that's that's basically what you don't want to see so luna saw its market cap capitalization drop from 30 billion to 10 billion In the past five days it's dropped 64 percent and obviously it's dropped even more i'll talk about that crypto market cap had lost 30 300 billion and that's obviously to do with luna and bitcoin dumped as well because luna was dumping all the bitcoin that they owned i think three billion worth and that was having a negative pressure on on bitcoin there was some fud around usdt and usdc as well and it was just all over the place like i said i've not seen this sort of negativity in crypto since like excuse me march 2020 my voice is on guys like i said i was planning to make this video tomorrow but there's so many dms so many people worried understandably so so i'm making this video and like i said I, i'm just too tired to do a live stream today i'll do a live stream tomorrow and then yeah make sure you subscribe and comment below and i'll, I'll do a live stream tomorrow to answer any question that you may have if you're still stuck in luna or have any of the questions i can try and answer and try and give you some advice so regardless no tokens will be succeed until they can prove viability during times of stress something that traditional financial sectors or your struggle with today so that's sort of the whole story what happened and how it started i'll just quickly round up some of my thoughts um um so you know this this talked about um the sort of the reputation when the reputation goes that's when things starts to go down it's fairly clear there's a crisis of confidence and and this manipulators had played with it you know the manipulators knew that when the FUD gets bad, more people will get scared, more people will start dumping and they played on that. They really used it. You know, I don't know if it's Citadel or BlackRock or whoever, you know, they played a part in this. And when they started dumping it, there was no tomorrow because even I exited, you know, I'm, I like Luna so much. I wanted to succeed. And when people start seeing the, 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 
the prices of it dump they just get scared and this is exactly what happened people lose confidence and even if i don't think luna will come back i mean who knows it i mean even Luna come back it will come back in a complete i don't think it, it can come back in where it in its current state it needs to like completely evolve into something completely new you know maybe call it something else even because people will have a really negative connotation or they need to come up with something revolutionary that you know n none of us have really really thought about uh, or know what's what's going on so they just cover the same story which which said you know anchor protocol 20 percent decentralized lending and then i'll cover this myself for uh, the luna foundation god and what do corner saying and and finally the biggest losers as us in the retail investors we are the biggest losers you know i wasn't a pre um i see also investor i got into luna same as you guys you know five dollars it was you know i've been completely honest when i got in when i got out when luna went to hundred dollars i said i'm looking to you know sell luna um uh, same my same strategy with bitcoin as you guys know i'll go back to my chart once luna broke back below 100 i said stop loss there if we can't get back above 100 i exit and if it gets back above 100 buy as much as you want but below 100 we don't want to buy same as my bitcoin plan you know when bitcoin broke out above um here i was really bullish i was buying bitcoin with you guys let me go back to the daily chart you know, we started buying Bitcoin, these live trade setups, and hopefully we get some trade setups on the live stream. I've shared some amazing short setups. Hopefully you took some of them. They they have helped us help protect our wealth. The AVAX short, the NIA short, those shorts have helped us massively. So hopefully you took some shorts. You've been watching our live stream. The live stream that I'm sharing with you, the plans that I'm sharing now, and in the Rockstar Trading Group, I can share the exit entries, the exits, all that good stuff. So the same plan, this was like the $100 zone, $100 zone for Luna. Once we broke below, it started dumping like there was no tomorrow. Um, so that was the one plan. What is this? I'm just, I've got, got some couple of articles that I wanted to talk about. So the Luna Foundation guys tried to seek more money. So they were trying to get a hundred billion to try and, you know, try and keep it. But once something goes down and this is, this is the talks about, you know, the losing confidence, you know, same as, you know, bank run in, in the Black Wednesday, you can study about George Soros. And that helped me a lot about, you know, learning about my trading journey, my trading strategy about demand and supply. Once something there's fear and people lose, you know, people lose the confidence in it you can throw as much money as you want but people will just keep dumping on you because they, they, they lose that confidence and i think that's exactly what happened and you can study the black wednesday how george soros the sort of bank run the bank of england that took on the government and beat them which is ridiculous but that's what they did and uh, this, this article came out today so he said he came up with a plan uh, to save his stable coin from the masses i'll actually read it, his own post but i'll just cover it so you know he takes it, it's really been hard um usd goes above there's the arbitrage and how it works and acknowledge that due to the algorithmic nature there's a significant impact on the price and people can you know play with it and there was a post on twitter and this is why i said i wanted to i will still do maybe a detailed uh, thread or an article like sharing with you my thoughts like my organized thoughts but there is a really good article which talks about i think you needed like something like 100 billion or i can't remember remember the exact number to sort of bank run on Luna and Luna Foundation and they just played with it this Citadel and they probably didn't even need as much because they shared so much FUD and they knew the how FUD would be shared and they literally just abuse uh, abuse to Kwan. and and my problem with with this new plan is the amount of Luna that will get printed and we're already seeing it um, and I think that's going to be really difficult for them to to overcome it and if you read these articles the whatever the, the price stability he's trying to bring um, all of this will mean that huge Luna gets burned and you can see this which proposes uh, increasing the minting capacity of Terra Luna from 293 million to 1.2 billion so that will mean a lot of Luna will get printed and if you think about trading my strategy demand and supply previously luna was being burnt and we saw these huge moves now more luna will get minted there's not much demand for luna or ust there's all this bad confidence and you're getting more and more luna printed so that's where the price is dumping i'm not saying buy now and hold this is not the time to buy and i shared a short setup as well again i didn't take this myself but i've just shared it in the rocks trading group in our live stream and i'll share with you a couple more setups this is not the time to buy and i'll come back to what i would do and again it's not financial advice i'll share my plans um at the end of the video i'm just you know going to the telling you the full story um let me actually go on to the duquan main bit now and, and just talk about what he's saying so you can understand the 72 has been really difficult and he tries to explain how the terra pegs work you can read this yourself i think i've explained it well if you have any questions guys comment below and or let me know and i'll review it in the live stream later on 
So review of the current set, USD is currently trading at 50 cent, a significant deviation from its intended peg at $1. The price stabilization, I can't even speak, I've just been so tired. I've, I want two hours sleep in the past two days, it's ridiculous guys. I've not had market, you can't sleep when the markets are like this as a trader or investor and crypto in keen or crypto manic manic or whatever you want a crypto addict if whatever you want to call it the price stabilization me mechanism absorbs usd supply over 10 percent of total supply but the cost of absorbing so much stable coins at the same time has stretched out on chain swap spread to 40 percent the lunar price has diminished diminished drastically absorbing the arbs so i talked about you know people trying to like dump usd make get usd and increase the supply of usd luna just couldn't handle it so they worked out how much usd they needed to affect the the peg and that's exactly what they did before anything the only path forward will be to absorb the stable coin supply that wants to exit use before qst and start the repeg there's no way around it we propose several remedial measures to aid the peg mechanism and it talks about the you know huge amount of lunar that will be minted with the current on-chain spread peg pressure and usd burn rate the supply overhang of usd that is bad debt should continue to dec decrease until parity is reached and spread begin healing and no one knows what that price is it could be a lot lower and people seem to think that you know once um, it dumps like 90 percent it can't dump anymore but it could carry on dumping look at what the price of luna here so luna can dump a lot more luna could dump another 90 percent and it could you know keep going down and, and again it's your life your money but i'm just sharing with you my thoughts and my op and i'll keep saying i'll speak at the end of the video but i think there's like plans you can plan to get in early if, if luna does change and duquan does something miraculous and I still believe in the team. I still think the team is good. And I'll talk about my, my tweets and how I have uh, my thoughts on Luna during this crazy 40 to 48 hours of the past few days. If, if Luna starts trend changing, pumping up, we can always jump back in. Same as what I said around $100. If it gets back above $100, buy but it will save you from the downside same as that i still held some lunar and i bought some more at 50 which you know burnt me I, I took a loss i got stopped out i'll share all my posts and how i've exited and all that stuff you know on twitter because you know they're all timestamp and then I've, I've taken a loss but you know you need to own your you know, I, I, i'm being honest because i feel bad i felt i talked about lunar and i'm trying to like support and help people but what i also don't want to do is guys like just say blame someone else you need to take accountability you know trading is risky crypto is risky you could lose all your money and all that good stuff but you know i just try and wanted to help you guys go through this and i really hope if you learn from it there's going to be other opportunities you know you know follow us follow other people do your own research just maybe just unsubscribe go away go away from youtube recover but you know just take accountability that's the best advice i can give you so naturally this is the high cost of usd and lunar holders but we'll continue to explore various options as we begin to rebuild we'll adjust the mechanisms to be collateralized so i'm a bit worried about that does that mean what's the point of lunar then if it's not an algorithmic stable coin so i don't know how this what this actually means but if it's collateralized i don't know what that means that might not be algorithmic stable coin as we know so this could be quite a big change as well the Terra ecosystem is one of the most vibrant crypto industry with hundreds of passionate teams building uh, category defining applications within and, and I agree with all this stuff he's saying there's lunatics we will not deter short term he's just he's quite a brash guy and Al God he's the guy who bet I think a million that it, Duquan it, Luna will be less than $100 and, and it did go below $100 which it, you know it will be dumped now and I, I probably don't think it will go back ever up again just because of the Luna supply I'll talk about the price so that's the update guys and again it's been absolutely crazy i'll just review my thoughts on it and how how i went through this like i said it's a longer video the story i'll, I'll try and timestamp it uh, later on if you're watching it straight to you might not see a timestamp but i'll try to do it it's another day of increasing lunar supply and again i'm worried as long as unless we start seeing burning again i don't want to buy i did buy five dollars fifty dollars and i had a stop loss and i'll, I'll go through that um, on Twitter, I posted it as well. So USD peg broken. I was really worried, and I said, you know, must read for lunatics. And this was my Luna. So I bought Luna around just below 45, and I got stopped out when I woke up. And um, this was such an important level. Once this broke, then I hold my holdings as well. I still had some money in Anchor and Mirror. I exited uh, Anchor like what 70, 80 percent of what I had, which is pretty good. And then I told you when I saw that dump in you know, the 94 cent, that's when I exited the rest from Anchor as well. And I did get a liquidation on Mirror, which you know, which wasn't great. You know, I did lose some money. I did take a lot of money out of Mirror, but again, that still hurt me. 
Um, and then there's obviously a lot of shit posting as well. This is apologies for swearing, but this is Twitter, so you do a lot of fun. But this is one thing I do. So please don't let it be abusive. I think he did have a good plan and he couldn't execute it. I don't think he was malicious. I don't think he wanted to do a pump and dump. That's just my thoughts. There's some amazing people in Luna community. Let me know in the comment section below what you think. But I do think they've got some amazing people in the community. And I don't think it was just a straight up dump from the from the team. Um and you can read some of the posts that I posted, but this is important. This, this is the trades, and uh, I posted the exact entries. And and the Luna stop out, I want to share that as well, because uh, people will probably think, oh, did you actually get stopped out? And I posted it. So this was my post, and uh, this is how I traded Luna. So I bought Luna. I posted in the Rockstar Trading Group. Same as my Bitcoin trade or all the other trades that I post. Same post as Luna $5, which we got in a few years ago. So I actually... I got filled here. This was my buy zone from before. And I sold half because I was risky. I was worried. So I didn't know what was happening and all these burns and all this stuff. So I actually just sold half when it pumped. So let's say I bought, I'm not, you know, 100k. Let's say I just bought, just for the sake of the example, 10k. And I just sold half of it, 5k. I still had 5k. And then I got stopped out on the 5k when, when that broke down. And after that, I was just, I was just out of Luna. And then when it came back to here, $5, this was the origin of the move. And I posted it. This origin of the move. This was my buy. And I sold and I bought again and then once it broke back below I was like look this is gonna go I don't know what is happening you can sell the buy and sell and I was just out I didn't know what to do and since then I've just been you know just po not much I've posted and um, that's about it but yeah read this thread by the way this is a strategy um, thread you can go read it so that's my thoughts on Luna and the story let's talk about the future of Luna what I think will happen again this is just my thoughts please you know um, research it have your own plans but this is what i think will happen i'll just i've written a small post in the group and um i'll just uh, quickly read this out to you so what happens next for luna uh, the luna market cap will get slaughtered which we're already seeing is i think it's the top 30 now let me just quickly check the uh, luna market cap i think it's outside 30 is it outside 30? Well, outside 40 now. It was outside 30 earlier. So we can see in the market cap getting slaughtered. More and more Luna will get printed to try and help the peg. And it's not what I'm saying. This is what uh, Duquan said. More and more Luna will get printed. I think a billion. I don't even know how many numbers. Is it 1.2 billion or 12 billion? Which is absolutely ridiculous. Look at the supply in Luna. How big? I mean, the supply has gone up by absolutely ridiculous. And the more the supply go up, the less likely the price. I mean, I don't think we'll ever see a lunar price because if you look at the lunar supply now, for lunar to be go to hundred dollars again, it would have to like overtake Bitcoin or something ridiculous. A hundred trillion, you know, that's like what's the market cap? That's like almost is it over? You know, that's like crazy market cap, almost over Ethereum. So do you, do you know what I mean? So I think the market cap and more and more Luna will get printed with the, how the mechanism work or how I understand it. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Again, I'm not a coder. You know, Luna is one of the projects I got really involved with. You know, back in the day, I got involved with Litecoin and a few other projects I got really involved with. So I just want to talk about my thoughts, how I see it. So I still think the USD peg, but I still think the USD peg will go back to one dollar when the dust settles. I think. Duquan will make the Luna will be really undervalued. I don't want to speculate a price how low it can go. Maybe I'll make a video. I've not you know, not had the time to just go away and think. And like I said, this weekend I'll do a bit more research and try and make another video. But I think Luna price will go a lot down. I don't know how how ridiculously low it can go. Uh, but you know, my thing is just hope no one got burned. You know, they're all the same stuff. And the Rockstar Trading Group, I think really smart people usually so uh, we've done you know hopefully people not been burned that much and um, you know i think they need a completely new model and almost a new coin for you to jump in and you know best to protect your capital get out and then you know when you see a new model coming in trend changes coming in you can use the five dollar as a guideline if it breaks one dollar use one dollar as a guideline say as long as below one dollar i don't want to buy above one dollar i buy just have a plan and that's how i would personally deal with it so that's my video guys hope you guys enjoyed it slightly longer video or a lot longer video let me know in the comment section below how you guys found it did you find it useful sorry just for like all over the thoughts that i had a rough plan of what i wanted to say hopefully i've got most of the points across and then let me know in the comment section below my thoughts on luna how i've dealt with it how it's been hurt and let me know about the join us tomorrow in on the youtube live stream we can talk a lot more about it that will be around 5 6 p.m uk time so finally just to talk about some of the morale stuff again money is important everyone wants to be rich everyone wants to make money but what we need to think about is like 
you know, there's a lot more things that are important in life than just, you know, trading or cryptocurrency and, and money. And, you know, don't get too be beaten up on it. Don't blame yourself. Don't say, you know, I'm wrong. I've, I've done this. How have I done this? I'm so dumb. Please, please don't do that because, you know, anyone could have made this mistake. No one could foresee it coming. I, I wish I shorted it. I had a short setup, you know, in, in Luna around 80 dollars and i didn't take that one i was like oh, not 80 yeah around here this was my like i was looking to short luna when we broke below there and i did and i missed it and i've just not jumped back in and i could have made life changing money in this dump this is would have been on 20x leverage that would have been crazy money i would have made but you know i've lost money as well there's coins that i've invested that went to zero I've been, you know, scammed and all this stuff. Everyone's gone through this. You know, don't beat yourself too much. You know, if you need help, even message me, post it on Twitter, message me. Um, I'll try and help you out. You know, speak to your family, friends, go for a walk. It's not end of the world. Please don't do anything stupid. And I just wanted to end it on that note, guys. Cryptocurrency and markets will always be here. Family, health, you know, they come first, life and just enjoying freedom, living. They're all way more, more important. So I just want to end it on that note, just on a positive note. Think about the more important stuff, you know, you're still loved you can still come back stronger there's lots of other opportunities there'll be another 10x thousand x you're just one 10x 100x away from you know getting all your money back so just want to end on a positive note guys if you do um enjoy this video do hit that like button subscribe to the channel comment below join on our live stream if you want to join our community i'll leave the links below for you to check out and um, you know if you want to learn about the actual trading strategies how to not get ruined and uh, get, learn the risk management strategy i never talk about like my strategy will get you 100 you know you'll be a millionaire because that doesn't work i always talk about community i always talk about you know having risk management and long-term progression anyways guys let me know what you think i will see some of you guys on the live stream tomorrow protect your wealth stay happy you know whatever if luna comes back or not guys you'll be okay and you'll come back a lot stronger so thank you very much smash that like button subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys soon with another a great video thank you very much